It's like, damn, a shout out to like the balance of Ultimate Grand. You have a ridiculously large roster like that, right? And it's of still course. all the characters are still able to like play into other matchups so well. Mewtwo is one of those characters where it's like I guess a matchup like Cloud as well, like definitely Nasty something matchup. that like I think I could see Mewtwo being able to hang with, but I feel like the most obvious thing that Mewtwo players and non-Mewtwo players alike are always complaining about is the hurt box on that tail, right? Against someone with a disjoint like Cloud, it might the become disjoint. a little bit more of an issue. Yeah, that could definitely be rough. Anthony isn't cool, not a player that's prone to upset. Immediately pushing forward, 90% on Tim Prater, putting him in the corner. I don't think this is a matchup where unfamiliarity matters that much for Anthony. I think the, the, the primary issue could be some offstage shenanigans, but Anthony is going to press forward with the game plan that gets him to this point in his state and outside of it. And it's going to work out pretty well so Ooh, far. I actually like that. Going for the teleport cancel into the nair to try to two-frame the climb hazard from Anthony isn't cool, but it didn't quite work. But we're seeing Tim is swinging back, and as I say, that gets swung right into the blast zone. So really, who's the one swinging? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And Tim... Um, Trying to go for some sort of shenanigans at the ledge immediately, right? He knows his win condition. He knows that Mewtwo can do things that people have never seen before. And immediately tries to put Anthony in one of those situations. But he evades so skillfully that down there not going to connect. The side B, great parry from Tim Prater. This could be a huge punish. Not quite, though. Another good parry. Got to be careful with, the, uh, with your timing here, Anthony. Okay, and at this point, I feel like Tim Prater has done more or less what he needs to. You get a couple more hits here. You can start fishing for grab to get your KO. But not without Anthony isn't cool getting a couple up airs and an up smash as well to go ahead and add extra assault to the injury. And Falling Fair rips that stock away. Speaking of assault, that up B is going to connect. But Anthony putting pressure in the corner, and that back here is going to take stocks away as quickly as any other move in the game. Right, here we go. Climb has it out of shield. 12%. Going to be pretty happy with that one, but here we go. Tim finally starting to get a little bit of something started here, but a little too late as he's falling up air chains is just doing so much. Even a finishing touch to try and really send a message. Yeah, Anthony loves ripping those finishing touches. Uh, one thing I'm seeing already, I love the way Anthony's using down air to space around that big Mewtwo her box. He can't really space around it as well as most other characters can. And Anthony abusing that right now. Jab into a tech chase, gets a grab out of it. Not what Cloud's typically looking for, but disadvantage is always what Cloud's looking for. Man, this is starting to look pretty tough here for Tim. I'd like him to answer back. Goes for the down smash, gets caught by the limit. Climb has it on the way oh. up. And then is that just a forward tilt? It's going to be enough to go ahead and swing that. What do you think Mewtwo is? I was about to try to describe him as an animal, and I'm like, I don't even really know where you exist. <laughs> is he a cat? He Sphinx cat? I don't Sphinx cat? I guess. I'll go with I guess like, cat. You know, I see it. I see yeah. it. I would just I'll say Pokemon go. and give I'll up. You know what I mean? Like, like, he kind of like beers for real. Kind of got like a salamander vibe to him. You know what I mean? A like, salamander. Like, you know yeah, actually, like, no, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks kind of like dinosaur like. Ish. You know what I mean? Ish. Yeah, he got the, the skull for sure, too, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he just like thick in like the most randomest areas, but like. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> very true. Um, but, but from this matchup, not one that Anthony's familiar with, but I love the way he's playing around it. Um, doing a lot of down air uh, landing to kind of catch that that big floating hitbox that Mewtwo has. Um, catch him off guard. It's been doing great so far and immediately runs up with no regard. Has no problem just swinging right away and it works out for him. Okay, man. Eating a forward air, another forward air, a forward tilt. Just can't get on the stage and get any control. That's going to be a punish. Only a single up air for your troubles, though. But hold on. This is a little bit of extra pressure. But you have to watch out that limit is here. We got to shield that. Got a lot of shield damage. And Whoa. that's why that forward smash is let rip, right? You roll in here. Even if you get your shield up in time, you're probably going to get poked because you just blocked the limit blade beam. Anthony's reacting like that's business as usual. Leans back, takes a sigh, deep breath. Nice. He's feeling good, but that's a great ledge guard from Tim Prater. Puts himself back in this game as quickly as Anthony put him out of it. Hey, you want to talk about GameStop trades, man. That was exactly what you need to bring yourself back to this mm -hmm. game. Retreating to the Yikes. platform, guess what? That was not the right option, right? Maybe just go back to the ledge one more time. Yeah, you give Anthony any time to react to something that's going to get ugly. And the other thing about Anthony is that his two frames, wait a minute, here we go, off ledge, immediately uses the limit. I love that idea for Anthony. Wow. That's unfortunate for Tim, right? Tries to convert into the Nair and just immediately gets traded out of it. Jesus Christ. This this right side platform has gotten a lot of action. <laughs> We've seen a lot of scrapping happening all the way up right next to that blast zone. And I think Anthony has no problem bringing the fight to the edge here. He's come on, come on, on top of it a couple times. Oh, no way. Side B. Oh, no. Did that do it off to, oh, my God. Are you kidding? <laughs>
<laughs> I see, the last hit too, right? Like, yeah. homeboy think he's good, and then all of a sudden, all you hear is, oh. Yeah, it's the, oh shit, I dodged it. Let me move in a yeah. little bit, and then it just clips you. Oh, that's the classic. That's tough. <laughs> that's all I got to say. That's tough, man. That's, so. that's tough, and that's two quick games. Yeah, no, honestly, that game was that like, was breezy. I didn't get to peep what the timer was when it ended, but I'm pretty sure it was like less than two minutes long. Mm. So, uh, it was swift. We're maybe six minutes into a into what looks like a dominant 3-0 here from Anthony. Uh, Tim Prater's gonna have to turn the tides. He's going back to uh, going back to town and city. He was dying pretty early off the sides, but I think he's well aware that he can take stock early off the sides as well. That fair, that forward air almost proving me right. Tony able to make it back though. Oh, I like the attempt. Yeah, great, Just great shot. Catch the the tech in there, but I mean that was a beautiful start to this game number three here, yet to take any percent. I would love to actually just see Anthony get the stock here, and that was the chance, but didn't quite get it. Here's another opportunity. Tim Prater surging forward right now. Anthony on the back foot consistently for the first time in the set, but he's gonna push himself right back out of that corner. Just kind of relying on Cloud's disjoints, just standing there throwing out aerials, knowing that Tim can't really approach it, but a weird B-reverse doesn't work out for him. Okay, I'm wondering, hey, if you're Tim here, if you can go for a grab, that might be all you need. Tries to go for yet another side special there, but there we go. Finally, a trade is going to lead to that stock being taken, and this is the best position you've seen Tim in all set. Yeah, for the first time in the set, really looking in control. Um, Anthony can sometimes rip you off of your ground like that. Uh, so Tim going to look to capitalize on this. Doing so pretty well so far. That hurt box shift from Cloud coming in handy. A great parry. That's been the name of Tim's game so far. He's gotten some solid parries. Oh. Keeps running back into the cross slash as well. These are opportunities for punishes that are being missed. But despite that, Tim inching on forward here. Not Ooh. letting Anthony use the most of that limit. Now 57% on Anthony. The Jeez. advantage climbs for Tim. The up smash not quite going to take it on that big town and city blast zone. Oh. Just got foxed oh. right there, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you just kind of get stuck in the corner and the back airs start coming. That might have shield pose too. I think that shield pose. I would believe it. A tall dude. <laughs> that's some that's some nasty pressure that Cloud can put on in that corner, especially against someone like Mewtwo. Because Mewtwo can't really swing on it, he can't really run under it. It's really difficult for him to work out of that corner. But Tim hasn't been put in that corner too many times this nice. game. Catches Anthony without a jump and catches his stock, rips it off the board, has a whole stock lead now. Yeah, had to go ahead and let that rip really quickly to not give Anthony a chance to react. And that's exactly what we saw. And now Tim, I mean, doing a great job here, trying to convert. These nares have just been so sad for Tim, man. Like, yeah. homeboy's just trying yeah. to get a combo. Tim Tim has, has not lost the momentum from his, his first stop, right? He came out with a super strong first stop. Um, and just now, Anthony's kind of bringing it back a little bit. Tim surges forward as well. The down tilt into a fair. Tony off stage. He has the limit. So that's going to make it a bit easier. Up not quite going to take it. Okay. You have a chance here. The back air is going to be enough. 69%. Hey, yo. We are here to play. Let's see if uh, suddenly this is going to be the turnaround because Anthony is powered up. Keep yourself in business. 6-9 Tony trying to make it happen. These uh, uh, disjoints from, from Tim Prater doing a good job keeping him above, though. Good advantage state for him. Holding on to it. The back air is not quite connecting. Oh. Great grab, though, to keep get him off stage. That's where Tony thrives. Nice fair, though. Yeah, Tim needs that... Uh, that limit gone, there it is, finally dissipates. And that was an opportunity for a punish missed yet again. That could have been an opportunity to send Anthony off stage. Let's see if Tim is able to go ahead and regain composure here. I can feel him slowly falling apart. I feel like an up smash is in the near future. Ah! Oh, <laughs> you called it, A, but the game lives on. Up oh, smash God, didn't again. do it. The forward air also doesn't do it. A couple of fake kill screens. The game's lying to us, Rambo. Ah! Like, ah! Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Yeah, get body. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got teleported. Got shredded. That was crazy. <gasps> Anthony faced with a white hot Tim Prater, an uncomfortable matchup, but 2 6 Tony rises to the occasion. Man, Tim could have had that game. Tim, in fact, oh, yeah. I will say should have had that game, but you can see the composure crumbling like pastries, bro. Like the flakiest mm. croissant you've ever seen yeah. was that game with just disappearing the Thanos snap yeah, into dissipation. It was like, come on, man. You could have you needed to buckle down, lock in. Yeah. You know, put the seatbelt on. We're going for a ride. Yeah, he kind of, um, the moment Anthony got this kill, that back air, things kind of started slipping yes. for, for Tim. And then this offstage scenario, I think Anthony put him in the corner three times that entire game and he capitalized all three Ooh. times. Oh, I can't believe that limit didn't hit. And yeah, that air dodge was sick, but then it's like, you air dodge, so, <laughs> you know? <laughs>
That was one frame. That he, he went, got hit, one frame to the blast zone. That was immediate. Man. <laughs> I love that. Man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. But that means who just qualified for top eight? That's Tony. That's Anthony. He isn't cool. He I'm might like, be cool. I'm like, what cool. is this? I'm like, is this? Hear that? I hear that. I'm like, oh, are we on fire? Is, is that a melee thing? There's I'm a like, siren I, going out. I'm like, y'all can hear it. But this is a, clearly, no the, sets are too heat. the sets are too heat. I mean, <laughs> no one's 